Hello, this is Mike coming at you with some more fixings. This here helicopter, I've had it for a real long time. And the skids on the bottom were pointed the other way, the part that curves up. And I always wondered why they were backwards on there. Because, you know, a real helicopter, the skids are front like this, like you see it now. So I took it apart. I turned the skids around, put it back together. And when I did, it wouldn't set up. It would set like, it would set like that. So what I did is... I took it back apart and I took the curved piece of that old cloak and dagger that I tore apart. I mean, yeah, that I robbed the wheels off of for the bone shaker. The uh, overhead part that uh, was curved was just about the shape of the nose of this helicopter. So I cut, the, cut it down to size. And I put it inside here, and JB welded it inside the cab up here in the front. And I also throwed a couple of uh, old Hot Wheel tires in, and wheels in there. And JB welded all that together. Put it back together and put a clamp on it to uh, keep it together until it set up. And there you go. She's setting up. She, I know it just fell back then, but that's because it's against the wall. But see... Uh, it's setting up now. It won't fall back. I mean, you know, it won't fall down on its tail. So, yeah, I got that like I like it now. It looks more correct with the skids on, you know, the curved parts of the, on the front of the skids that stood at the back like it was. Anyhow, that was that. And next up, these wheels come off of a 70 Chevelle station wagon. It was one of the demolition derby cars, and it came with uh, the white wheels and the wheels in the middle. And so I took the white wheels off of it way back here right after I got it. It was back in the beginning of when I first started collecting. And uh, I took the white walls, I mean, the, the white tires off, and I put this set on it. But back then, I didn't have, you know, didn't know a whole lot about it. So as you can see, I bent the axle to where the tire wouldn't come off. But nowadays, I JB weld the wheel to the axle. You know, that's what I do now. So I don't have to bend them like that. But anyway, uh, like I said, it was the green demolition derby wagon. And I did not uh, too much care for it. Some of y'all out there's probably got, uh, got all the whole collection. But y'all probably don't never show them because they're not really worthy of showing much, you know. I mean, they're not, not really interesting. But anyhow, I had uh, took a, I took one of them permanent markers, and I colored it black, and I called it, I called it uh, Black Betty. But anyhow, it's just been sitting around. I decided I cleaned her up, and I was aim actor. And I put another set of wheels on it. This set of wheels that's on it now is the one that is the set of wheels that was on the Silverado that I lifted up and put another set of wheels on. So yeah, I Zayma actor. Yeah, that is my Zaymac station wagon, <laughs> and one of my four doors for the challenge. <laughs> Anyhow, up next, this is a set of Maisto tires and wheels. You can just about bet they came off of mace, though, right? Well, I took I took these wheels off the mace, though, and I put a set of hot wheels on it. And there's what it looks like after I got through with it. And uh, that's the Jeepster. Mace, though, Jeepster with hot wheel wheels and tires. So, anyhow, that's that one. All right. Uh, up next, this is an uh, sort of an Indy car. I think this is a Formula One car is what it says, F1 on the bottom. So anyway, I robbed the wheels off of it. And I will not put this one back together. If somebody wants it to put some wheels on it, they're more than welcome to it in their trade box or whatever. 
Hint, hint. Matchbox man. <laughs> Anyhow, that's that one. I robbed the wheels off of it, and I put it on the second Firebird. Yep, put it on the second Firebird. Because you know why? I needed the wheels off the Firebird. And I put them on this here Corvette. And gave the old, old Corvette some life again. This old Corvette had these old wore out tires on it and wheels. And so uh, I hope that y'all can see this. It don't look like it's very bright, but I don't know. Anyhow, let me see something here. I'm going to see if I can do something to it. I don't know if it'll work or not. I think I figured it out last time. I was supposed to hit lock. And I don't know if it locked or not. Anyhow, that's that one. I think it looks a lot better with these wheels on it than the ones that was on it. All right, moving on. Remember on my last video, I was telling you about some brand new wheels losing the chrome. Well, here's a set. I arrived this here set off of a 67 Chevelle, the red one. And I put these wheels on the 55 Chevy, Maisto Chevy. Time I got them on there, this is what they look like. So I was just disgusted about it. And I took these tires and wheels back off. I didn't show them in my other video. Yeah, I took these wheels back off of it and put them wheels that I got from Alpha Diecast on it. On that 55 Chevy Maisto brand. But anyway, the 67 Chevelle that these wheels come off of, this is it. And I put another set of wheels back on it. Uh, they had some gray wheels. I don't even remember exactly what I brought them, uh, took them off of. But um, while I was in the process of it, I raised the front end on this one. I don't know if y'all can tell it or not, but originally it set low in the front, so I raised it up a little bit, kind of made it level. So, yeah, that's that one. And up next... Here's another set of wheels. I robbed these wheels off of an Acura NXX. I was going to put these on a Monte Carlo. Well, dang it, the paint rubbed off again. So, as you can see, they're not on nothing. So, anyway, the Acura NSX, I put it back together, and I put the wheels that was on the 56 Chevy on here. And this one's going to Matchbox Man. He said he wants it. So anyway, that's that. And I noticed my video is blinking here, so I'm going to hit that maybe to quit blinking. All right. That is the NSX with them blue wheels that was on the 56. All right. Moving on up to the next one. This set of wheels was on the Monte Carlo. Y'all saw this car in my white wall challenge. Well, somebody made a comment about restoring it. Well, I, I I'd already thought about putting wheels, you know, changing the wheels on it. So I finally did. And I took the wheels that was on one of those 18-wheeler hot wheels that I got from Alpha Diecast, and I put on here. This came out, these wheels came off of the 18-wheeler. Excuse me for moving around. And there was the extra set that was uh, left over from the 18-wheeler. You know, you had the little ones on the front. That's the reason I took them off. I wanted to set the 18-wheeler up with the same size tires all the way around and wheels and all. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's the Monte Carlo. Got black walls on it now. Anyhow, up next. I got this thing from Mike Espo, but it's a fantasy kind of thing. So I robbed the wheels off the back of it. As you can see, the front ones are still on it. I'm thinking about maybe taking this uh, frame piece, being it's got double axle, and make a car hauling trailer out of this. I don't know yet. You know, it's an ideal. So, anywho, that's, uh, that's why I ain't, you know, that's. 
that's why I got up here just kind of, you know, demonstrate what I might do with that down the line is make a car hauling trailer. So anyhow, as I said, I robbed the rear tires and wheels off it. They were the, the super wides and I put them on this. This here truck has now got the super wides and I should have put the, put another, I should have cleaned the axle when I had this thing apart. I didn't think about it. I might, I might take it back apart. It's only one rivet. So anyway, got super wides on it and here's the tires that were on it. Where are they at? There they are. Those are the ones that was on it. They still good, but I can, I can use these on a bone shaker because they still good tires. Uh, but I, I just wanted to put some super wides on it because there was plenty of room under there. Plenty of room for the super wides. And I just thought I'd just do that. And these here, they're not in too bad a shape. So these can be used on the back of a bone shaker. Most definitely. All right. Up next, I had robbed the wheels off of this for one of them 18 wheelers. And... Said I wasn't going to put it back together. I did. The wheels that's on here now was off of that shell tanker trailer that had three axles on it. So these tires are just a fraction smaller in diameter than what originally was on it. Matter of fact, I thought the blade was going to drag the ground because they're smaller. But uh, it, it, it's clearing the ground by just a, I'm talking about just a fraction the blade that is on this thing, but yeah, she's a roller. It's got a little rough chrome on that middle with middle set of wheels. Got a spot where the chrome was kind of goofy, but I got a couple of brand new ones of this anyway, so it ain't no big deal. So anyway, up next, here's uh, my pro here's the progress on this 18 wheeler. I got a trailer. I'm a junk pal. And it don't have no top on it. It's long gone. And I already put the wheels on it. Put the wheels on it to match. Truck's red. Trailer's red. So, yeah. No doors on the back. And there's the wheels that come off of it. I'm thinking these wheels look good on Silverado. Yeah. I'm thinking these wheels might look pretty good on a Silverado. So, I'm, I may try that. But anyway... That's the update on this one. I hadn't done anything to the other two trucks yet. I'm still going to have to make a bumper for this one. I think that's going to be in the next step. It'll be a bumper. Because I don't have any more trailers now. So the other two is going to have to just get on the back burner for a while, I suppose. And here's, here's one I, I worked on way back here. I raised this one up a little bit. I wish I'd have known about raising it up way back here. I wouldn't have cut the fenders out so dang big. But yeah, that's the Silverado too. I wish I, uh, like I said, I wish I hadn't uh, cut the fender out so big. And had, I could have mounted the axles on the outside of this thing, made it a four wheel drive. But I don't know. It's just one of them trial and error things. But uh, anyway. Here's my uh, here's my pile of tires, part of them. That's one jar. Ain't nothing but tires and wheels in there. Yeah, and another little bitty bottle inside there full of axles, or half full anyway. And here's the other jar. This jar here has got the good tires in it. And this other jar has got the junky tires in it, but... I'm keeping up with them because some of these, there's plenty of axles in here and I might need an axle. So some of the, a lot of these tires in here still have the axles on them. Uh-oh, there's that old ugly white tire. <laughs> Anywho, that's, uh, that's what I've been up to last couple of days, piddling around. You got nothing else much to do around here, but, uh. Anyway, I don't. This thing looks blurry as I'll get out, guys. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. Maybe the screen on the camera needed.